Half of the women in India, which is 50%, are anemic. So half of the women in India have very less hemoglobin compared to what is expected normally. Also, more than half of children, which is about 58 to 59% of children, are anemic. So what is anemia? If such a big population, chunk of our population is anemic, this is an important topic that needs to be addressed repeatedly by multiple people. I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, Senior Consultant Hematologist, Bone Marrow Transplant Physician, and Pediatric Oncologist, currently working in FOTUS, Bangalore, as well as I'm the Program Director of Bhagwan Mahavir Jain Hospitals, uh, the BMT unit in Bangalore. So anemia is nothing but the reduced amount of blood or red blood cells which is present in our blood. Why is red blood cells so important? It is important to carry oxygen from our lungs to various parts of the body. What happens when our donor cells do not get oxygen? We feel tired, you get headaches, we are not able to perform to our 100%. Uh, we feel like we are always tired, taking stairs or going for a short walk, feels like a huge task. What causes anemia in women and children so significantly in India? Women, mainly nutrition. So most women in India ignore their nutrition. They focus on their families and make sure that they put a healthy meal and provide a healthy meal for their family. But they put themselves at last or in the end. So that is something we should start discouraging starting from today. Make sure that you encourage the female members of your family to have a good intake of green leafy vegetables, red meat to a certain extent, a good amount of dry fruits, kidney beans and legumes and pulses, as all these things contain a rich content of iron. Women naturally lose blood as part of their monthly cycles. So it's also important for them to compensate even above, more and ab uh, even above their male counterparts and make sure that they take a healthy diet. What causes anemia in children? So you'll be shocked to know milk. Cow's milk, as we know, has been used for decades, years together as vital part of a child's food. If a child doesn't want to eat, especially when they are sick or when, the, when we are not in the mood to sit with them and spend hours together in feeding them, we turn to the easy resort of feeding them cow's milk. Is that really dangerous? Milk is considered a vital part of children's food or their diet. So how does milk cause iron deficiency? If a child who is say about two years old has a very st small stomach and consumes more than half liter, some children even consume to one, one and a half liters of cow's milk a day, and they do not end up eating the nutritious solid food that contains most of their iron um, supply, what happens? So the cow's milk reduces the absorption of iron from whatever little they take and causes them to have significant iron deficiency, which in turn causes them to have anemia or low hemoglobin. This has been shown to play a vital role in kids not performing well at school. It reduces their cognitive ability. It makes them more tired. It prevents them from being active and participating in sports and physical activities like kids should, encourage, should be encouraged to do on a regular basis. So make sure you feed, you're making sure to feed your child, uh, whatever age they are, starting from the age of one year, not more than 500 ml. So ideally around 250 to 500 ml of cow's milk and no more than that. And encourage them to eat a solid uh, based diet with lots of fruits and vegetables and grains and uh, some part of meat and fish and make sure that they maintain their hemoglobin at a normal level so we can look at a healthier, brighter, smarter India when our children grow up to be the future citizens of India. Thank you. <music>